Dancing act as they get older, trying to maintain their fan base as they transition into adulthood. Miley Cyrus has started to make the transition from the Hannah Montana Disney star into someone who's going to have a viable career as an adult. So she kind of walks that line between needing to keep the clean image for her younger fans and kind of wanting to sex it up. In April 2008, Miley posed for a provocative pictorial in Vanity Fair. There was a huge controversy when she posed for the famous photographer Annie Leibovitz, and she was posed clutching a sheet to her chest. Uh, she was not wearing any clothes under the sheet. Well, this picture caused a sensation. A lot of parents were very pissed off because they were like, wait a minute, my like six-year-old daughter watches you. How can you be doing this? It makes me question whether I want my daughter to like listen to her music or participate in anything she does anymore. They were used to seeing Hannah Montana, you know, the happy, smiley Miley, and these were a little bit somber, a little bit sexy. If she's made a public commitment or pledge that she's going to remain a virgin, that's great. But just the persona that she's decided to give others, it's just very provocative and um, sends a message that I'm available. The controversy got so hot for her that she actually had to release a public statement and she essentially apologized to her fans for this picture, which shocked her. I think I was just kind of in a stage, you know, where I was just trying to, you know, trying to get things done and, you know, maybe look for an older audience or, you know, I was working with the big magazine just trying to go with, you know, what they were trying to say and I think it was, it was, uh, it was a hard time but I think just, you know, um, learning from your mistakes is the biggest thing and, you know, also just knowing it kind of really made me remember how much my fans really do support me. What happened was she caved to public pressure, which just shows how much weight this abstinence and virginity movement has. Miley caused yet more controversy with her pole dance performance at the 2009 Teen Choice Awards. If you watch the actual performance, it was merely a pole that was on top of an ice cream cart that she was hanging on to to support herself. But clearly the photographs were going to make it look like she was working a stripper pole. Miley, of course, laughed off the controversy. She said she was embracing her sullen trailer trash culture. Clearly, she's under pressure to show a slightly more sexual side as she matures. Miley's audience, you know, they're getting older as she's getting older. She has to worry about maintaining her audience. There are enormous economic stakes to this trans that stars want to make. They want to be able to keep their audience, keep their careers as they get older. There's no way for us to know how the current stars are going to make the transition from being a young virginal Disney star to being a grown-up star. I think the only pattern that we can really see is looking at the other generation of Disney stars. Over the course of Britney's career, certainly since Hit Me Baby over time, she has evolved into more and more of a sexual icon. I'd say her coming out moment as a true sexual icon was at the MTV VMAs when she ripped off the tux and underneath is that nude sequin bodysuit and the whole world just went, whoa, she's hot. Brittany knew what she was doing by presenting herself as this young and sexual being, really let everyone know, I'm not the same girl anymore. The Jonas Brothers continue on the righteous straight and narrow. Eldest brother Kevin has swapped his purity ring for a wedding ring. He got hitched in December of 2009. You are officially off the market? Yes. How's that going? It's going great. We have to wonder if part of that has to do with his purity vow, that he said that he was going to wait to have sex until he's married. If they have committed themselves to the virginity movement, if they want to have a normal functioning adult life, they pretty much have to get married. It'll have an effect on his fan base because they'll probably feel like, you know, well, he's no longer available. I think the thing that women love about watching them is thinking that maybe one day, you know, it'll be my turn to date them. Questions of image and career complicate an already tough transition that all young people face, from virginal child to sexual adult. As I think these teen icons and celebrities get older, you know, life is going to hit them and, and we're going to have to deal with the reality of them being actual people and not just, you know, icons put on pedestals. The foibles of these rock stars really do mirror what's going on with their fans, where at a certain age they're confronted with their sexuality and they have to address it. It's hard to dispute the new virgin's pop culture power, but will it make a lasting impression? I would hope it's the beginning of something bigger, a new standard perhaps. I think we're looking for a new way and a new role model and I think that's why we've seen it catch on like it has.
there are people who absolutely believe in this. But I think the danger of making something like abstinence into a trend is that trends die. The virginity movement is going to continue to try to be culturally relevant and trendy, but at the end of the day, I think that the reality of young people's lives is going to win over. It's very difficult to work against biology, and biology dictates that you want to have sex. Doesn't matter how many purity balls you've been to, how many purity rings you have, how many purity pledges you've made, you want to have sex. So they're fighting an uphill battle.